yes, this is a recent development in physics. You can no more use F is equal to MA. The world leader and authorities of physics laws have cancelled this law effective today. This is the most shocking news for the people who physics all the time. There are major protests going on all over the world against this amendment. The left-wing physicists are celebrating the cancellation of this one of the oldest known laws of physics. This is indeed a revolutionary decision that might change the way objects behave. F is folks no more equal to MA. I knew this was going to happen. In fact, I'm not surprised that it took these people this long to come to this realization, which I, being the smart person that I am, figured it out like a long time back when I was teaching my students Newton's laws for the very first time. That force is simply not equal to mass times acceleration. F is not equal to MA. Now I know that I'm sounding like that reporter again. But if you be with me, and if you let me, then I'll explain to you what it means. And it will make sense to you. And you'll come to understand why we have been misinterpreting Sir Isaac Newton for centuries. I have noticed that in the anxiety and eagerness to solve the problem of mechanics, people who are new to the law tend to make this silly mistake very often. This law was discovered in the 1600s, but since it's a law of nature, it perhaps has been in existence from the time this universe was formed. So let's see what the problem statement actually is. Okay. Now let's say we have a block on a horizontal plane. Force acting on the block is given to you as 10 newtons and the mass of the block is 10 kg. Now what will be its acceleration? Now if you use your F equals to MA, you know the value of F, you know the value of M, A will be equal to Yes, 1 meters per second square. Now that is fine. Now let's see what happens in this case. The same question basically, you have got a force, you've got the mass. What do you think will be the answer? Again, if you do F equals to MA, A will be equal to 1 meter per second square, right? No, that is not so because as I told you, F is not equal to MA. Now I know that I have confused you to the maximum level, so I'll clarify it. F is not equal to MA because F net is equal to MA. I know this sounds a little silly, but students tend to make this mistake all the time. We must realize that the net force on an object is equal to its mass into acceleration, the net force. Now the question is, how will you find the net force? 